Hello everybody, my name is Wardle and today I want to show you how to build my fixed compact pulse length combination lock you can see here in front of you. So I uploaded a tutorial for a pulse length combination lock just a few weeks ago but uh, actually found a few issues later on with the design so I decided to well, actually uh, resolve those issues and now I want to show you how to build the fixed version. You can see here in front of you. So as always I will start with a little demonstration. So uh, basically we have two inputs. This here is our pulse input where we can put input either long pulses or short pulses. And this button here is our reset which will reset the whole lock in its initial state. So that's the input side. Now the output side is basically this comparator here, which will only give an output when, if the right combination has been input into the system here. And now for the demonstration. The corresponding um, combination at the moment is set to long pulse, short pulse, short pulse, long pulse. So I give it a long pulse, then a short pulse, another short pulse, and long pulse and okay something didn't work quite right so let's reset it first and now let's give it another try long pulse short pulse short pulse long pulse and now it works so it wasn't really in the initial state at the moment at the start so but now it's working okay just reset and as you see it doesn't work again. So that's basically what this thing here does. Now uh, how do you make this combination is basically uh, you have those modules here. Each of those modules is only one block wide. They can be tiled rather easily next to each other. And the only difference between them is you have either a repeater at this point or a torch at this point. The repeater stands for a long pulse that unlocks the corresponding digit and the uh, torch here means that you need a short pulse to unlock this digit. So now what's a short pulse and what's a long pulse? Basically it's a uh, short pulse is shorter than three, uh, than four ticks and a long pulse is longer than five ticks. So that's that. Now how big is this whole thing? Well, the length of this depends on how much how long your combination is. So the total length is two plus the length of your combination. The width of this whole thing is six blocks, and in total it's six uh, seven blocks high. That's the size. Now for the resources, you will need some kind of building block. Then you will need four slabs. Then for the Standard parts without the combination slots or digits, you will need six redstone dust, six redstone torches, six redstone repeaters, three comparators, one sticky piston, two droppers, four hoppers, two levers, and one button. One of those levers can actually be a button too. And then for each digit, you will need three redstone dust, one redstone torch, one repeater, three hoppers, and either an additional redstone torch or a repeater, as I already mentioned, which depends on whether you want to have a short pulse decoded or a long pulse. So basically that's all of that. So uh, now all that's left to show you how to build this. Okay, so start by placing your two droppers facing upwards like this, then grab your hoppers and run a line into the bottom one. The length of the line is the length of your combination plus one. On top run another line of hoppers facing downwards like this. And on top of those run another line, this time in the opposite direction. So like this until you're on top of the dropper here. Good, that's the dropper and the hoppers. Now run a line of normal blocks along the middle row of hoppers and on top of the bottom row 
you don't need a block on top of the last hopper here. Then put some redstone dust on top of those blocks. Then put a block here, redstone to torch to the side and on top, on top of this one another block. To the side of it, an upside down slab. You repeat on top on three ticks, run it into some redstone on top of this block here. And that's basically what we have to build back here. Now it's time to build the item elevator for this first place block here. Then place a block diagonally down and go up again. Put a comparator in this gap here. Redstone torch to the side of it here. Block here. Repeater under the full setting there. Block on top of the comparator and finally another torch on the side of this block here. Okay. So now you can actually put an item in here. And now it should be transported into this second hopper here. That's that. Now it's time for the part where the combination is set. So basically you run another line of blocks along here, like this. Put some torches on top of those. The last one, you don't put a torch on top, but a comparator, which basically is the output of our system. So uh, let's get a lamp, and put it here. And basically, the whole lock only is open when the item is in this hopper here and subsequently this uh, lamp here is lit. So that's that. Then put another upside down slab here, some rest on top of it. And now it's time for the combination as I already said. So um, make a two wide platform. Come on here, then run a line of repeaters into those blocks here, run another line of blocks along like this, some redstone on top of those blocks, and now to set the combination you can either place a torch here or a repeater here. And basically a torch means that the corresponding digit of your combination has to be a short pulse and the repeater means that the corresponding digit must be a long pulse. So in this case I'm going for a long pulse, short pulse, short pulse, long pulse. That's the combination for this lock here. Okay, then next put a block here and another block up here. Put a repeater here on two ticks. Another block here. Uh, basically this is our input later on. The reason for this repeater is to make sure that the pulse that gets into here is not shorter than two ticks. The reason for this is this sticky piston here, please, with a normal block in front of it. Uh, since a one tick pulse would keep the block here, which wouldn't work like it's supposed to later on. But next we need another slab which goes down here, then another block to the side of it, up here, and right besides this hopper here. Put down three redstone dust like this. A repeat on one tick and another repeat on three ticks like this. That's this part here done. Now, finally, put a block here, repeat a uh, comparator on top of it, block in front of the comparator, and then to the side here, redstone top, grab your last slab, place it here, upside down, repeat on top on the default setting, block in front of it, and on top of it, torch to the side of it, block on top of the torch, then to the side of the torch, repeater here on four ticks, block in front of the repeater, and find another torch here. And now, just place another normal block here, and put your button here. And on this block you can either put a lever or another button, and that's basically all of it. This here is only to redirect this redstone line here. But 
basically that's all of the build itself. Now how does it work? Basically this button here is the reset button. So if you push it, press it and wait a few seconds, this item here will be in this first hopper and the whole lock will wait for the first input. And this basically is our input, as I already mentioned, which means uh, if you give it, in this case, a long pulse, followed by two short pulses, and another long pulse, you can see now our lamp is lit, uh, lit up. So, now, if I give it another pulse, for example, the whole thing resets itself automatically. But you can also just push this button here and it will reset itself. Now just to show you that it works really, uh, like it's supposed to have long pulls, short pulls, short pulls, and another short pulls. And as you can see, the lamp isn't lit up. And in this case, uh, since the first input is a long pulse, uh, it has reset itself already. So uh, let's just for the show of it, give it a long pulse and a short pulse. And now it should be in the third hopper here, or third digit hopper here. Okay, so that's that. Now just to show you, and now we have it reset. Okay, so that's basically all of that. Now uh, one last thing I want to mention: if you want to increase the length of your combination, that's pretty easy. Just remove this hopper here and uh, this. Uh, comparator here, and clip in a few more of those uh, modules, of those uh, digits here, and then just rebuild the last uh, part here again. If you're going for a combination that's longer than 15 blocks, you will have just to skip one, uh, just like this, and just put an a repeater here, and the rest will work just like it's supposed to. So just for a little demonstration here. So, but that's basically all of it. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and well, see ya!